Okay, this is the question sheet that goes with chapter six over the spinal cord and the brain. So let's look at the directions first. It says answer each of the following questions by first reading the question silently, then writing the answer on the line. Write the page number where you found the answer. If you need a hint, look in the brain on the back of this page. Some words may be used more than once. Let's go ahead and flip our page over and we can see our brain and we can see the different words that we might be using. So let's look at those words real quick so that we know what we're looking for. Our words are voluntary, concussion, skull or cranium, cerebral cortex, cerebellum, brainstem, gray matter, three, cerebrum, controls breathing and heartbeat. And it does say that some words may be used more than once. So that's important because some of you will be asking, is there a possibility to use some of these words more than once? And I'm telling you that, yes, you may. Okay, so now let's look at our questions. I'm going to read each question, find the word that goes in the blank, and then tell me what page number in your reader you found them on. Number one, which bones protect your brain? Number two, what is it called when you bruise your brain or hit your head really hard? Please remember you can pause this video while you're looking for your answers. And then unpause it when you're ready for the next question. Number three, how many main parts is the brain divided into? Don't forget to put your page numbers. Number four, what is another name for the medulla? Remember, your words are in the brain on the back of this page. Use those words. Number five, what is the job of the medulla? Number six, the cerebellum helps you to control blank movements like walking, running, and jumping. Number seven, what is the name for the largest part of the brain? I hope you're hitting pause between each question. Number eight, the wrinkly outer covering of the cerebellum is called the blank. Number nine, what is another more common name people have given to the cerebral cortex? Let's turn it to the back. Let's read the directions. It says, choose one question out of the following three to answer. You will not find the answer on a page in your book, but please indicate the page numbers that you reread to help you form your idea. So you're only going to have to answer one of these three questions. You get to pick the question you want to answer. So answer choice one. You can explain whether or not you, ha you can have a concussion on your big toe. If you choose to answer number one, you're gonna write a one right here where it says question you chose and then fill in your answer on the answer blanks. Choice number two, determine if scratching an itch is voluntary or involuntary movement and tell why. So you can't just tell me it's voluntary or involuntary, but you have to tell me why. And choice number three, how is the medulla, also called the brain stem, similar to the stem of a tree? So. If you answer three, put a three here and then give me your answer. Now, you're not going to find the exact page number, but if you are talking about choice one, you need to go and find where does your reader talk about what a concussion is. And that's going to be the page you put here. If you're answering number two, you need to go and find out about voluntary and involuntary movements and use that page to help you answer. And if you're choosing choice three, you're going to be looking up what a medulla is. Why is it called the brainstem? 
put that page number here and then answer how it is similar to the stem of a tree. When you're finished, you know what to do with your papers.